Hello guys and welcome to Jarelina's Reborn Nursery. Here I am with a work in progress video and also a changing video, but I want to show you um, summer rain. I am pretty much excited about this baby. And let me tell you, she is not even half of the way. Even her um, base skin color is not yet but I put her together and some mittens, a bow and booties and a diaper for you to get an idea of her. I love that grumpy face. And yeah, she still needs a lot of work. I am doing that right now. I am painting, but I took the time to make a video for you. And I have here, um, Hadi, as you can see, the coloring is so, so different. She needs to do a lot yet, so she's not um, that bad. I will, I hope she turned out beautifully, so I hope so. And here I have some outfits to, um, to choose from to change Hadi. And there is Jonah, is the new member of the nursery and, and he was a girl when she, when I arrived here to my nursery but right now I put him in that romper or dungaree I don't know exactly <laughs> the, the exact name but you understand my bad English so I'm going to bring the camera to change this little girl. All right, guys, as I told you, um, I dressed this doll like a boy. I put this outfit on him and yeah, he convinced me he is a boy. So um, this particular doll is very, very interesting and very nice for kids. I think um, because he's so clad body, his body and all his parts is clad and he doesn't have any on any parts that can lose. It's perfect for children, especially for the Montessori philosophy and the wardrobe. Then the kids can dress the babies and have fun with them and it's nothing plastic, it's natural materials and for that philosophy is a very good choice i think we can think of so many things we can um, give to our children to our nephews and nieces we can give some things that are um, good for them they can learn they can carry they can take care of it and doesn't have any electronics but just saying it's not that if you buy something for your kids and uh, it's have electronics that's um not nothing bad just saying that that doll can be for good for kids so here we have a beautiful doll and it's not made for kids <laughs> is Hadi sophia and she has a beautiful outfit i really love it but i changed the the panties and because I was dressing Jania in a similar outfit let me show you her in the bunny outfit and I put these bloomers that was on Hades um, to Jania so they can match and look similar also Journey has a bunny outfit and Jania has, oh my goodness, I am so excited about this. It's the first one I made, so don't judge me, please. Be kind with me. This is a tiny bracelet I made for my vinyl dolls because I don't want to put any on Journey. And I find everything on Walmart. And I was just practicing and um, Jania is wearing it. So, oh my goodness. And she's so cute and so grumpy. I love her. So I'm going to change on Hade. And I am so sorry because in the background I have 
a bunch of motorcycles and I think I need to cut the video <laughs> in order to make a decent video for you so if you see so many interruptions is for that I don't know which one to pick guys I love both and you know I am into the bunny outfits right now but I was thinking I could put this in journey another day and this one on Hade because I want to have her with his shoes, her shoes. All right, guys, I apologize because of all the noises. And where I live is a touristic area, so there's a lot of people coming and going. So I love this outfit so much, this color pitch. So it's her so beautifully. And I love her with her shoes, so. Um, just want to describe the outfit is a dungaree, let's say, or a romper with a ruffle in the back, um, three, yeah, three layers of ruffles in the back and has a butterfly and very colorful like her wings are yellow or color gold color and the romper is pink light pink and also have a under shirt that is um all butterflies um, um green pink and fuchsia and all it this print is all over the shirt and the uh, half ruffles in the sleeve area and has an embroidery in the in the neck around all the neck so i'm going to put this two piece set on her and the headband is a flesh color um band with two flowers one is like a purpley wine color and another one is pink so that is what i'm going to use on Javi. and i'm sorry for all the noises guys because i live in like very and i don't know why it's a very I have seen so many movement today because it's raining a lot here in Puerto Rico we have um, a lot of bad weather let's say raining a lot so I don't know why it's too many people around here so I have been working like crazy because I have a costume that is a um, the Ashley kit and I'm super 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 embarrassed and so I feel so bad for my um, neighbors um, girl her daughter because I am making this custom for her the Ashley kit and I didn't have the oven and then um, after i think was two weeks of waiting for the oven i finally got the oven i have so many appointments but i am trying to work as hard and as fast i as i can to bring this little young lady her doll so that's why i i'm not coming so frequently making videos also um because all of that but yeah if you're new to the channel i want to tell you that um i have two kids that i homeschool i work for my from home painting dolls and it's part of my hobby i enjoy so much um painting and this little girl is the laura sculpt and i painted and rooted this baby 
um, if you're new and not subscribed, you can subscribe and see the dolls I always show, the dolls I complete and have for sale and also display my dolls and show um, um, floating and holes and changing videos. Let me grab here. Um, the noodles and boo. And you know what? I, I have to say that I like to use the toothbrush with her because her hair is styled differently. Like when I root her, um, I root her very, very different from um, some of my dolls. So in order to style this like the way she was rooted, um, the best way is with this. So as you can see, the best way to make curls and style the way the doll have the, the hair rooted is with this tiny brush that is um, a bamboo brush, but you can have a another toothbrush that is soft enough to not not to hurt um, the doll's hair and it's pretty much easy it's nothing complicated you just have to style um, the doll's hair the way the artist um, root the hair so I think with a big brush you cannot um, make this kind of details and it's just for you to look at the doll and see that it's pretty is nothing more than that but as you can see she is done like the way I root her, root her. isn't she so cute guys with the outfit so yeah this is how this is the oh my goodness I love this girl list with these shoes like vintage um shoes look at her guys and her hair i love the way her came, hair came out and i love the way um bonnie sculpted um her baby's um heads really like that in my Levi was one of the things that I like the head shape and it's beautiful she's so beautiful she's so pink because I love pink let's see if I can move this baby so here she is guys and She's ready to go and I'm going to be with you with a changing video with Journey but she's still in her bunny outfit because as I told you I am working 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 and trying to have this dolls um, painted summer rain that she's going to be available at some point when I finish her but my priority right now is the Ashley kid because her little owner is waiting for me. So thank you so much for your time, guys, and for being with me this couple of minutes. Sorry for all the interruptions. And I hope you can uh, subscribe if you are not to see more videos and to be notified when I do a new one. And if you are a, a faithful and watcher, I want to say thank you for coming back. And if you're still on to the end, I have to say thank you so much for that. So see you in the next videos, guys. Bye-bye.